There's this really bizarre phenomenon on TikTok that I just can't stop thinking about where huge multi-million dollar corporations will have official brand accounts that are run by somebody in their 20s, like their social media manager. And these official brand accounts start becoming really self-referential from the perspective of the social media manager. And there's usually a lot of self-deprecating humor about how their word the account isn't doing well, about how their manager is upset with them or they're broke and stuff like that. And just producing a lot of like relatable content about job insecurity and these TikToks tend to do really well both because they're relatable and also because people want to support this person and they want to see them do well and they don't want them to be fired but it's this really bizarre twist on class solidarity that ultimately only benefits the corporation because the worker can be locked out of this official brand account at any moment they don't own this it's just one of those elements of late stage capitalism that really blows my mind this TikToker has pointed out something that I'm certain you've seen. Tweets like this, and this, where brands seem to have beef with each other, and they tweet out as though they're just normal people living their lives. And this is something that's really important to understand and be aware of, because it's emblematic of where we are as a society. You see, people are struggling right now financially, extremely so. We're in a very difficult economic position as a country. This leads to a lot of individuals being in very precarious situations, where they can't financially support themselves, and people are spending a lot of time at the same time on social media talking about their struggles. Now, these giant corporations see that and want to relate to it because they want to relate to you because they want to create the fiction of a relationship between you and their brand so that you purchase their products. The reality of this is very telling because as our system is fundamentally failing to meet people's basic needs, large corporations, instead of trying to make sure that people's needs are met, are turning around and wearing the mask of them not having their own needs met through the avenue of individual social media managers for these different giant companies. And this is part of a larger effort that we've seen where the whole notion of class solidarity is turned into a sort of commodification. It is effectively what the oil companies try to do with climate change, where they turn it into this personal action type thing in place of large structural changes. We can also see this in the media where there's a lot of TV programming around class struggle and specific things that people are dealing with. And while it is good and cathartic to have some of the feelings that come along with watching these films, it's important to understand that we take that catharsis and use that as motivation to enact change in real life. Because right now what is happening is there are mostly just big companies that are finding ways to profit off of our desire for change in the world while fundamentally not changing anything. It's like running on a treadmill instead of going outside for a jog. You may be using up a lot of energy, but you're not really going anywhere. And unfortunately, the type of class solidarity that you will see from the media and these giant companies and from these self-deprecating social media managers is not presented in a way that fundamentally educates people on how to do things like organizing food cooperatives or housing cooperatives or unionizing workplaces. And this is where it's very important that we all go out of our way to educate ourselves about what we can do directly in our communities. This is Ben Carolla with Rebel Headquarters. You can catch my show Galaxy Brain on the Young Turks Twitch channel every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with my content.